girl jazz like the music and we're back with another video and today i'm gonna be showing you guys how to do box braids no i'm not Ooh, why did i lie like that i really just lied like that okay um anyways today i'm gonna be showing you how to style your box braids so different styles for your box come on different styles for your box braids. So um, as you can see, mine are a little old. I've actually had these for like over a month. Um, I don't recommend doing it on fresh box braids, at least give it a week or two, cause them things be white. So I've definitely waited over a month. So I'm just gonna give you those styles. And please don't come for me, because if you think my box braids look dusty, you should see your mom. But anyway, all jokes aside, let's go ahead and get right into it. And I'm gonna show you some awesome styles so you can try them out yourself. All right, let's go. So this is one of my favorites. First off, whoever said protective or natural styles could not be professional or corporate, they lied. So what I like to do here is part my hair to the side, whatever side you want, then basically twist the braids down to the scalp and then tie it up in the back. You can also do a middle part, but I prefer a side part. And as you can see, I like to call this one coming for their jobs while coming for their necks. Now style number two is more of a get this damn hair out of my face right now kind of look. You just get two pieces on each side, tie your hair to the back in a knot and you are good to go. No hair tire needed. So for style number three, we're actually gonna do two cute space buns. So just go ahead and part your hair down the middle. I like to leave bangs out, but this is optional. I just think it adds a little something, something. So when I do my bun, like my ponytails, I actually put a hair tire on first, and then I pull two braids from the middle and wrap it around. So the ponytail holder is just kind of to secure it, and then I use those braids to kind of make a really tight, ponytail so I don't have to kind of initially pull my hair if you know you know and then once it's secure I just kind of pull the braids out see which ones are loose and then I just pull them through then we're gonna spin that around leave one braid out then just tie that around and around get that extra one because sometimes it's a little loose tie that around Minnie Mouse could never um, also, if you want, you could use an extra ponytail when you finish just to kind of wrap around to secure it a little more. I just really don't like to do all that, so. So since my hair is already parted, I'm gonna go ahead for our next style and stick with the two ponytail theme. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and create kind of some big braids going down. Now, feel, please don't feel discouraged. I do not do hair. I do not know how to braid to the scalp, but when you're, you're braiding braids, if that makes sense, somehow it's easier. So we're gonna go ahead, just make sure you're grabbing that hair from the back, bringing it into the braid and all the way down. Okay, one and just like magic, ooh, she back like she never left. And as you can see, I have bangs, but you don't have to do that. Again, it's your choice. I really love this look. Okay guys, so let's keep it going with another cute half up, half down look. As you can see, the bangs is out. My bangs are yanging. Don't come for me. But we're gonna get two little sets of pieces up top, twist them things to the back. Then again, hair tire pulled back, adjust, because sometimes it kind of moves. But girl, this is a really cute look. I don't know, I don't know what it does for me, but it's just, it's a vibe, isn't it? We love it. So next we're gonna keep it simple but cute. Obviously you have to do a ponytail. Remember what I told y'all with the pigtails? I like to do one to secure, out come the bangs per use, and then you're gonna see how I pull from the middle and then wrap around to make a really tight ponytail. You could keep it loose if you want, but I have a big head, so all these braids, it starts to fall and it just, it start looking real crazy. Um, so we're gonna secure that and then I'm gonna zoom in for you. So those loose braids, I actually pull on them so I could see which ones are loose and then I pull them through through the ponytail to create that tight, sleek look. So if ever y'all are having issues, that's how I resolve that. Um, from a ponytail, you can instantly turn this look into a cute, sleek, updo bun. Again, look how the bangs make the look. Y'all gonna quit playing with these bangs. Okay. Now watch this transition. Woo, just like that, a side ponytail. But wait, there's more. We're gonna go ahead, braid that bad boy down. 
Look at this cute braid. Now this is something you, you can wear with like a cute little dress, little date night. I mean, really an everyday look. That's what I love about this. Now let's go ahead and jazz it up a bit. <laughs> get it, get it, jazz it, jazz it up. Okay, anyway. Uh, so you're gonna put the hair down. We're gonna do another half up, half down do. So again, wherever you wanna part it is fine, but I love this look, it's just so cute. Again, it just gives me a 90s vibe. Um, you can also transition this by making the top part into a bun. I don't like this again, cause my head is big, but I'm just trying to give y'all a little sum sum. Now let's keep it going with the half up, half down. You're gonna take that same piece, divide that into two, okay? This is absolutely one of my favorite looks to wear. I don't know why it just looks so cute. We're gonna take one piece and we're gonna make pigtails up top. Y'all look at, look at how adorable this is. I love this with bangs as well. You already knew that though, so I'm gonna leave that alone. And as you can see, like with the half up, half down, you could turn it into buns as well. I'm telling y'all it looks cute with bangs. Y'all gonna, <laughs> Y'all see, but look at this, sleek. So then again, with this versatile look, take those two pieces and tie it back. It's the same as the half up, half down look, but it's gonna create a bigger uh, ponytail, higher ponytail, and then give you that little bump up front. So cute. So now when you take it down, be careful not to cut your hair, especially if you don't have much of it. No, she didn't. So next you're gonna part your hair to the side, any side you like, of course. Then you're gonna take that hair and twist it back. Just like that, then grab a rubber band or a clip, but a rubber band works better, secure it. And it's just gonna give you that cute little side look. Then with our next look from which either side you choose, go ahead and start twisting across the front of your head from one side to the next, to the scalp, just make a big twist, pull that back. Then when you get down to the bottom, pull all the hair from the back and then start creating a braid. So you're gonna have this little cute front twist, giving you this cute little crown, and then you're just gonna go ahead and bra braid that down into a big old braid to the side. Adorable. Like again, something you could wear with a cute little sundress or just with an everyday outfit, but it's adorable. For another look, take that same braid, pull it up to the back and tie it around in a knot to create a sort of bun. This would be good for like, if you're going to a wedding, again, to work, something very business, very cute. Uh, with that same braid, wrap it around, and then create you a whole little halo crown. Sis, look at us. You thought we was done? We got looks for days. All right, guys. So that is going to conclude my video for today. I hope you liked this video. I hope you saw something that you liked, something simple, just a way to kind of spice up or jazz up shall I say, <laughs> your braids, your box braids. So again, hope you guys like this video. Don't forget, if you saw something you like, something you're gonna try, something simple that I just, you were like, yeah, girl, yes, yes, ma'am. Go ahead and like, go ahead and subscribe, go ahead and share this video, and go ahead and leave a comment. Which one was your favorite one? Which one were you like, yes, girl? Which one are you like, mm, don't do that again? Just let me know, okay? Till next guy. Just let me know. Till next time. It's been real and it's been fun. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video, okay? Peace.